Hello everyone, this is Jason Merkel with Horizon Hobby and I'm joined here today by Mr. David Payne and we're here to show you guys a project that actually is, I think it's always been a favorite of yours. It has. The MiG-15. So uh, many, many years ago we came out with this. If I'm not mistaken, it was our first UMX EDF? It was. It was. It was. Yeah, and so since then, times have changed. Um, EDFs are hotter than ever though. Correct. And so what we did is we brought it back, but we didn't just bring it back the way it was. Uh, obviously, visually, it's clearly a different New trim scheme. scheme. Yep. Different trim scheme. I really like this trim scheme. I've seen this on some larger scale ones. It's a really sharp scheme. Uh, pretty good orientation wise in the air, but the big difference here now is that we've got a more powerful motor, higher KV motor, yep. 13,500 KV versus the original, about 11,750. 11, about yep. a 15% bump up in KV, get you more power, uh, more speed, more thrust. Um, we're also recommending now the 280 battery, Correct. 2S280 battery instead of the 200 milliamp battery used back then. Get a little more flight time, but also a little more performance. Uh, and then the biggest difference now is we added safe select. So it had AS3X originally, yes, right? Yes, had AS3X. We still have AS3X, which uh, today you guys probably can kind of sort of tell us on the video. It's a little cold, a little windy, and uh, but the nice thing is with AS3X and with the power this thing has, it can fly in the wind just fine. Just fine. Uh, it's still enjoyable to fly. If it's uh, you know if your first EDF, maybe I would say it's a good choice for a first sure, EDF. Sure, yeah. It's not a plane that necessarily uh, is hard to fly. Obviously, it's a little different because it's a jet, and so it's got a little bit different performance ratio because of that. But uh, I still say it's a great choice as a first. Airplane. It's a bind and fly basic airplane. Yes. So it comes out of the box ready, already assembled, ready right? to go. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. So it does have landing gear as well. You have option, a landing though. gear option and it has a steerable nose gear just like ah, it used yeah. to have. So, you know, if you want to fly off asphalt and taxi and do things like that, you can still do that. But, uh, you know, we, we prefer the speed, which is obviously a little faster without yeah. the gear. And so that's where we're going to go today. Hey, it looks a little cooler with the gear yeah. off, of course. Sure. So we're going to fly today over kind of the soccer field area. It doesn't take a lot of space. That's the beauty of Ultra Micros. Uh, again, it's bind and fly basic. It's ready to to uh, install your 2S 280 milliamp battery, our ultra micro battery with a three pin connector, and then uh, you can bind it to any spectrum. Five plus channel, any spectrum radio. Channel. Yep, and safe select. So again, you don't have to use Correct. safe select, it's on and off as you so wish. Yeah, channel five yeah. turns safe select on and off. It's already pre-programmed. There's nothing you have to do to the radio, no programming, no complication, anything like that. You just choose if you want it on or off. Excellent, well, let's see it fly. Absolutely. All right. Oh, wow, that was an easy launch. Yeah, I had safe on. Oh, okay. So even as a very, very, very experienced pilot, very good pilot, uh, you still use safe select. Absolutely. I mean, for hand launching, it, it makes any kind of hand launch pretty much a no-brainer. You don't oh, have to yeah. think about it. You don't have to worry about it. You know, you know, even if you really, really kind of mess up a hand launch, you know, we all have done it. Yep. It's safe is going to kind of try to fly out of that for you, so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Look at that little four-point roll. Oh, it's got a decent vertical. You can pull right into a loop out of that. Nice. The MiG was always, you know, it was always a really good flying airplane for us. It was very comfortable, very friendly to people, you know, so a little more power just made it even more fun. That's yeah, all that's too. good. I know it was relatively popular uh, in its day, and now, of course, jets are, are more popular than ever, but all the jets now that are out there and hotter are bigger, expensive. Yep. You almost always have to go to a flying field now to fly them. Uh, that is the beauty of this airplane. We're flying it on a soccer field, and it's more than enough space. Plenty of space. I mean, I, we're very comfortable here. You know, we're not even using all the field, truthfully. Yeah, you're about half and, of it uh, almost. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I we're like flying it, in a so. good bit of wind, so you know, yes. it's, it's, you know, it handles the wind actually quite well. This is, I would say, it's actually probably pushing closer to 10 mile per hour winds now. Uh, it's probably hard to tell that on the video, but again, if it didn't have AS3X, probably would be no fun to fly right now. Correct. Yeah. So, and for those that don't know the difference still between AS3X and Safe, AS3X is gyros, 3X is gyros, just smoothing things out. It's not getting in your way. When you uh, move the stick, you've got command, you've, you're in control. Uh, and so this safe. is nice and slow here, right? And even kind of getting wow. bumped around by the, you can see safe kind of, or AS3X taking care of some of that bumps. Yes, so it's reducing your workload as a pilot. Absolutely. And that's the big thing about AS3X. It's not getting your way, it's not hindering, it's not self-leveling, uh, but now on safe select, with safe select active, you have uh, pitch and bank angle limits, so you can't roll up yep. upside down, pitch upside down, uh, and then also self-leveling. So I am in safe now? Okay. And my stick is in the corner, so I have full up elevator ah. and full right aileron. Yeah, so normally this would roll the airplane into the ground. Absolutely, you'd crash the airplane. And so, you know, if you want to pull full up, right, that's where it limits the up. Ah, yep, so you can't so do a loop. There's that pitch angle gonna limit. It's going to stop it, right? Yep. So, and then anytime, you know, even if you just say you got a bug in your eye or say you wanted to yep. let your friend try it for the first time or anything like that, right? Yep. You have the ability to switch that on, give them a chance to kind of get the feel for it and then you can turn it off. Yeah, safe is an, a great thing to have. And again, it's safe select, so you don't have to use it. You can actually disable the switch it's connected to if you don't want to use it at all. 
Uh, but I say, why not? You might as well have it. Look at that, it's so cute. <laughs> they're a lot I know you're not supposed to say that about airplanes. No, they're a lot of fun. <laughs> Especially for kind of the park, relaxing. No, you know, don't take up any space in your car. Right. Oh. Kadonk. Yeah, and it can handle a bounce just like that, yeah, no problem. the ice and the grass here is kind of rough on it. Yeah, it's uh, the weather's a little rough these days. Uh, it's already, oh, well, it's only November. I know. And it's already pretty much the end of winter, yep. it seems like. Winter's so. here. But thank you guys for joining us. Uh, thank, thank you, you very much, David, for joining us on this cold, blustery yeah, day. No. Uh, we love it. The MIG, again, E-Flight UMX MIG-15. Uh, it should be in stores around the middle of December. Uh, we're very excited about it. We're glad to have a UMX high-performance jet back in the lineup that uh, also now has Safe Select. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, phenomenal. Thank you, guys.